Thank you, Petra, for the introduction. For the purposes of my presentation, I will uh, touch on three points about uh, Airbus and uh, why urban air mobility fits with our purpose, more details about urban air mobility, and uh, the role of citizen regions. Airbus is uh, a global uh, leader in aerospace sector, operating in the commercial aircraft, helicopters, and defense space markets. And as you know, the company is a leader in designing, manufacturing, and delivering aerospace products, services, and solutions to customers worldwide. So ultimately, our purpose is to pioneer sustainable aerospace for safe and united world. This means we have to continuously strive for leadership on environmental initiatives and providing continuing added value for society in the future. So, for example, thanks to technological innovation, a new mobility solution, namely urban air mobility, is on the brink of taking to the skies above cities to offer a sustainable complement, as we will see later on, to ground transportation. But are cities and city inhabitants ready to welcome such a dramatic shift in the mobility mix? Urban mobility is a key challenge for smart cities around the world. In Sao Paulo, for example, it takes two hours from the airport to the city center versus 10 minutes by helicopter. Mobility solution in smart cities is the key challenge for every authority, local authority. Multimodality, intermodality, mobility as a service are the key buzzwords and the drivers of the solutions we try to develop. Air mobility, however, it is not considered as part of it. We have to consider urban air mobility not as a competitive mode, but as a mode, mobility mode that complements the existing infrastructure. It's about walk, ride, drive, and fly. It is not just about flying. A series of new technologies and business models will allow us to rethink aerospace radically to rethink about the contribution of urban innovation to society. Ranging from distributed electrical propulsion to new structural concepts to advanced business model connected passengers, all these converging technologies can make urban air mobility a reality. At Airbus, we have been focusing on the development of two technology demonstrators. City Airbus and Bahana are testing different technology bricks such as electrical power and autonomous flight. More specifically, City Airbus is designed as a four-seater, electrically powered, eight-rotor aircraft that can take off and land vertically. Vahana was a single passenger, all electric, fully autonomous, vertical takeoff and landing demonstrator. We need to acknowledge that the e-vehicles, the vehicles, is only one part of the UM story. We need to have a, a systems approach across the whole value chain, an ecosystem approach to the emergence and development of urban air mobility. It is not just the vehicle. So we have seen from the previous slides the progress in terms of technology and business thinking for bringing um, urban air mobility into cities and in fact be in a position to claim that urban traffic goes to the third dimension. And a lot of work is ongoing today, now, around the world, between the different technical communities and policy regulatory communities on how we can make this safe and secure. We have to acknowledge at the same time that this urban element of the urban air mobility implies more than just improved levels of safety and security. Especially from the city perspective, it is about addressing new and existing challenges in terms of airspace management, for example, about new infrastructure required for aviation, for mobility, and the interface uh, of these uh, two different sectors. It is about the new businesses and the new services that will be available to the citizens 
and the new business models in order to ensure that these are sustainable and affordable. It is about new policy, a new mindset for policy making and the whole approach and process of policy making to be more agile, to be more agile, to be able to encompass the continuously upcoming technologies for urban mobility. So all of these challenges have been the topic of the UM initiative of the, in the context of the EIP ACC that Airbus has been proud to lead and facilitate for the last three years. It is a community and the voice of 42 cities and regions across uh, 14 countries in Europe, including Slovenia and the city of Ljubljana. And the aim has been to put forward a city-centric, citizen-needs-driven approach to UAM. The key message has been so far that public and private actors have to take responsibility. Every one of us, whether an institution, a city, a company, a community, is a valuable partner who holds the power to express what we want the technology to do for us. So I'm looking forward to the upcoming panel with our colleagues from Petrol, the city of Dubai, and the city of Ljubljana to further elaborate on the topic. Thank you. Thank you.